How are you, Sam? I'm good. How are you going? I'm all right. What are we going to do today? We're going to balance a small block ship stroker. We're going to use an eagle crank. I'll give you one of the stickers. <laughs> no one can stand the <laughs> We're going to use a scat I beam rod. And we're going to use wash seco forged pistons. And I'll show you how to balance it. So what they do, they put the weights of them from the factory, what they are. 451, 451, 451, 451. As you go up, 452, 454. But they're never right. We're going to check them today. We'll put the first one on. We're going to zero it. That's meant to be the lightest one. Next one. Yep, same weight. Next one. 0.1 of a gram. Doesn't matter, but we're going to get it to zero, aren't we? 0.4, nearly half a gram. So does that much weight make a big difference? No. No. But when you balance something, we might as well do it properly. That's over half a gram, but they've still got the same weight on it. Look at that. So obviously... They're rough enough, it's good enough, you know what I mean? Half a gram out. Look at that. That's, that's way out now. So that's out. My new piston, that shouldn't have been put in this kit. Yes, I'm going to put the light gudgeon pin on the heavy piston. So we're going to go lighter to heavy. Zero it again. Zero it. It's the same weight now. How good's that? We've got two of them right, correct. Watch this. So we're gonna get We're going to add the clips, the weight of the clips, right? I'm not going to write it separate, because it makes more adding up for me to do. So we're going to put the clips here first. We're going to zero it. Right? And that is my weight for the piston. Pin and clips. So I'm going to write here. Piston, pin, and clips. And it's 571.1 grams. Okay. We need to find out the weight of the rings. So we're going to zero this again. Zero. Your oil spring, the scrapers, the second ring, compression ring. We've got four, nine point five grams. Now they got taken the package. We don't need them now at all either. We're gonna weigh a set of shells for the big end bearings. These are a competition bearing. They look like they're burnt. Look at that. Look like they're yeah, burnt. Some... I don't, I'm not exactly sure. Must be I know they're, or something. they're coated, coated or hardened or something. I'm not sure exactly why they do that. 43 grams. Exactly. So we're going to put that back in. We're using a scat rod. 
Nice rod. The radius like that, so it misses the camshaft and the motor. As, a, as they're going around, as the crank's going around, it's, it misses that part there. If it was another con rod, it'll actually, you can't put a big cam in it. it, it the con rod actually hits it. I'll show you with another rod. See the difference? Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sort like of more pronounced, you know? Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's a really nice rod. You've got the big rod bolts in it, huge. You know, uh, they're pretty cheap too. I don't think I think they're pretty okay. Now this is the first one I'm going to do with um, using a different brand crank. You know, that's our first rod. We're going to see how different they all are. The reason I put it like this: when you're balancing the engine, you don't just want to weigh the rod like that. You don't know if this is heavier. On the back half than the front half so yep. we're trying to get the weight for half the conrod this part here hmm. we're balancing this weight so make it more the same weight and then we'll do the front the same weight so this one here this um, one gram half a gram let's check out the other one let's start so this is our lighter rod this is our heaviest rod we'll check this again zero in again we're going to use this as our reference. I'm not fussed about one up and down, and I'm going to fine tune them in the end. So this is our lightest rod. I'll do the heaviest one first because it's going to annoy me, you know. So right here, I'm going to write down big end rod weight, half the rod. Put it just there. Not that bad. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to weigh all the rods now like this. Now the reason why I do this now. So I've got that one one gram heavier. 0.6 of a gram heavier. That's not much, is it? So what we're going to do now is make them. Grind off the bottom. I'm going to take it off here because that's where the weight, the heading part is now. I'm going to go like that. Done. That's all we have to take off. It's nothing. Okay. Next step, we're going to find out the true weight of the front of this. So we're going to put this the opposite way now. Zero it. Here it says one five four. The small end weight. We're going to check it and see how accurate they are from the. We're going to check them from the factory, you know. One five three. It's only one gram out. That's okay. I only calculate the oil that's in the journals, which I already know. So three point seven. That's around the crankshaft of the journal. Make some bob weights up. The bob weights are going to be what's going to be pretending on the crankshaft the weights of half the con rod, the pin, the clips, the piston, and the rings, mm -hmm. and the bottom half of the, of the con rod double the amount on the bottom because we've got two weights on there and one weight on the end. So we're going to times the bottom by two. And have the weight on the front by one, but the oil I'm going to include it only once in there, not double it because it's not double the amount. Uh, so what I've done, worked out my numbers. So I've got the piston, pin clips, the weight, the ring set, uh, the small end of the con rod, which is half a rod, works out to that. The weight of the bearings, the, the front of the con rod, and the, oh, sorry, the back of the con rod, back half of the rod, and the oil. I worked that out. We've got a total bob weight, which is one of these. 1,675.1 grams. That one doesn't matter. You can go up and down here and there, you know what I mean? Mm. So I've got to make half a bob weight, which is 837.55. Okay, that for me. We're going to go and explore. We're going to set this up now. Uh, so what we're doing, 
This is the Bob way, as I spoke to you about before. So we're going to put, we're going to pretend now that we've got the two halves of the con rods on the big ends and one half of the piston on the top. That's what we made these for and they're going to be on this angle. So what I do, I already lined them up. So I'll put the, just little, little things to get them roughly there on top dead centre, which I know is here exactly. And I've got my harmonic dancer on there with the weight. And I've got my plate with the weight here. So I've got the measurements for it's a 383 chef and where I want to drill the holes, which is here, and on the other side, which is gonna be around about here. So we'll spin it up, and have a sticky bit and see what's going on. <laughs> Pretty bad. Pretty bad. That will start. That. That's what I'm going to use. <laughs> I'm not going to muck around here. I'm going to take the weight off. Right here. There. That there. <laughs> Did you see that? A pair of underwear. <laughs> a pair of underwear. Who the hell? They bring me rags. They bring me their underwear. That's funny, man. Back to that later. We're going to get it to. Yep. That's a pass. So it's right within. It didn't even go to the, the right area. So it's time to take all the weight off here. These. Yep. Right. Zero. Zero point eight. Yeah. It's time to take the weight off here now. Point two. Point two of a gram. But this is um, it's actually I'm impressed with the aircraft. It's a bit messy. But I don't know if I put that on the lathe and machine this down, if I could get away with doing less holes, you know, you know. But again, they're a very heavy crank, very lightweight pistons. They had light rods, light pistons, and that. That's not bad. It's pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. I'll actually use their product again, and um, yeah, good result with uh, an eagle crank. Uh, it's the first time I've used it, as I said, as an externally balanced engine. I've done an internally one before, and it was okay. I thought it was pretty good, but this is, um, I'm very impressed. And there we and have it. That's our 383. Externally balanced striker crank, which um, it's good. I'm happy. This one's going to be up for sale anyway. It's going to be in the brand new block. Everything brand new on it. So if someone wants one, contact me. Here's my phone <laughs> number there.